The ninth anniversary of 9-11 is stirring up so, so much controversy. General Petraeus says he's putting U.S. soldiers at, it is putting rather U.S. soldiers at risk in Afghanistan and Iraq. Florida pastor Terry Jones says he will go forward with his Koran burning ceremony despite criticism from the Obama administration. For the second time in 24 hours, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton condemned the demonstration planned at the Dove World Outreach Center. As of this time, uh, we have no intention of canceling. It's regrettable that a pastor in Gainesville, Florida, with a church of no more than 50 people, uh, can make this outrageous and uh, just distressful, disgraceful uh, plan and gets, you know, the world's attention. Well, to Pastor Jones and those who want to build the mosque, just because you have a right to do something in America does not mean it is the right thing to do. The burning of the Muslim holy book would be the latest demonstration targeting Muslims nationwide. Much of it a reaction to the planned Islamic community center and mosque two blocks from ground zero. While mosques across the country are boosting security for the ninth anniversary of 9-11, the Inland Northwest's only mosque says it doesn't see any reason to take extra precautions this weekend. KXLY4 Sally Showman has the story from the mosque in Spokane Valley tonight. Sally. And Robin, leaders here say they don't anticipate any problems. In fact, today they told me they feel blessed with community support. The Spokane Islamic Center opened its mosque back in 2008. On average, about 100 people come for weekly services. Mamdu Elarag is on the board of trustees, and just like most other Americans, he says that he views the 9-11 attacks as a tremendous disaster. He says the terrorists who planned and carried out the attacks hijacked the Islamic faith. He's disturbed by the video he's seen of people protesting outside of the proposed Muslim Community Center in New York City. I mean, there's hatred, and you don't, that's not what this country is about. You don't hate people just because they have a different belief system or a different color or a different, this is why we're here. You know, we, we, came, we seem to forget that this country was built on freedom of, of religion and freedom of speech. One of the biggest holidays in the Islamic calendar falls on Friday, September 10th. El Arag hopes that people understand the timing of the holiday has nothing to do with 9-11. It's determined by the lunar calendar. In the Spokane Valley, Sally Showman, KXLY4 HD News.